Welcome to WatchGuard's Daily Security Byte. I'm Corey Nockreiner. Today's story is a white hat researcher finding black hats in Facebook's network. Now, this story comes from a blog post on the DevCore security site posted there by a penetration tester that goes by the alias Orange Tsai. Basically, this penetration tester was participating in Facebook's bug bounty program. This is where Facebook and other entities might pay white hat researchers that find vulnerabilities in their products or in their infrastructure, as long as they disclose these vulnerabilities and help the organization fix them. Anyways, this researcher's blog post goes into a lot of great technical detail talking about how they did this penetration test, what they did to kind of find Facebook's public and private networks, how they kind of enumerated all these class B and class C networks to find some potentially vulnerable services. Long story short, the penetration tester eventually found a secure file transfer program that was publicly exposed. And the researcher actually did some white box testing of this product. That means he looked in the source code of this product to try to find new vulnerabilities. And he ultimately found a number of zero day or previously undisclosed flaws in this particular product. And he ultimately used those flaws to gain access to this server and parts of Facebook's network. However, this is where the story really starts. He ultimately found that some unknown hacker, maybe two different hackers, had already gained access to the secure file transfer server. They already had a lot of scripts set up to upload programs and to gain access to the rest of the network and to start enumerating the internal network. In fact, they even had something that was key logging and gathering credentials of up to 300 different different Facebook employees. So the big takeaway here is some unknown attacker seemed to be in Facebook's network long before this good guy researcher actually found these vulnerabilities. So it's just quite an interesting story. Now, Facebook hasn't officially responded to this, although I read one post where someone from Facebook suggests that it was another bug bounty program that might have participated in the previous attack, and also that these servers are actually segmented from the rest of Facebook's network, so the damage is actually somewhat mitigated. In any case, it's just a very interesting story, and there's really two takeaways I want you to gather from this. First, for the technical folks out there, I really highly recommend you check out this pen tester's full blog post. Understanding how pen testers find weaknesses in our infrastructure can really help you build your defenses, as I've mentioned in other videos. The second takeaway here is why we need to take zero days so seriously, and why it might not be good for any organization, even governments or so-called good guys, to hold on to zero day vulnerabilities. When a good guy finds a zero day vulnerability in a product, that does not mean that some bad guy hasn't already found the flaw. This could be a good example of the fact that many bad guys may have been exploiting this flaw before good guys even knew about it, which is why when governments hold on to vulnerabilities without helping the private sector fix them, they actually put many people at risk. Anyways, very interesting story. Check out the blog post. That's it for today. Thank you for watching.